was uh, what about our size, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he was just uh, he was uh, he was a different kind of a player. He was he was uh, he had finesse. You know what I mean? He could put the puck in the net. He he, he could do his thing. You know what I mean? But today, I mean, it's, uh, today the game is dump and chase. Yeah. They, you don't have to be able to stick handle. Just shoot the puck hard. That's all you got to do. Hit the star. Yeah, same the All Star game today. Did you see the All Star game? Today? Now we were unfortunate because Channel 8, uh, NBC here, showed the damn basketball game, and we weren't able to get the hockey game on. So. Well, it seems to me I recall some of the guys in your area used to hit quite a lot, too. Didn't they have a guy named Lynn Marguerite played here that was known for running into people? Oh, yeah, he was, uh, well, his, most of him was, he was a fighter. He, he used to fight all the time, and, yeah, he was, he was tough. He was tough. We had some tough guys in our, in our days. We had them. See, as a matter of fact, I'd say that uh, the day of the goon in the league is uh, well gone. Uh, or don't you see it that way? Well, they're cutting it down a little bit, but it's, it's, they're still there. But they're cutting it down quite a bit. There are still a few goons around, but they're cutting it down quite a bit. But that's that's tradition in hockey. It's been that way all its life, and it's going to be that way all the time. You take that away from hockey, and then you're dead. You know what I mean? So you, you're going to have it in there all the time. You're trying to say it's a violent game. Well, it's, well I was wasn't born this way. There was a lot of work done here. You know what I mean? You didn't get that nose. Uh, you didn't come with it, huh? Now, 13 times it went all over the place. Yeah. Well, that's the thing with me. I, I always tell everybody I wasn't born as ugly. I said I've had over 100 stitches in my face. Yeah. And that's from the part of being a little guy. If I'd have been big and tall, of course, if we'd have wore the helmets and the field and the shields and everything they wear today, yeah. you know, we wouldn't have got beat up. We'd still have all our teeth and everything else. Moose is one of the few that still got his teeth. Yeah. You still got all your own oh, teeth, Moose? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still have them. I just uh, they, they were hitting my nose all the time. They were missing my teeth. <laughs> Ron, your nose wasn't that big. It, uh, how come they didn't get your nose and, and got your teeth? Well, my, my one claim to fame, I guess, is two of the toughest guys that ever played in the National Hockey League were Teddy Green and John Ferguson. Okay? Oh. And Moose will verify that. Oh, yeah. They were tough as they come. Yeah. Teddy Green knocked my teeth out and Ferguson broke my nose. So I, that's my one claim to fame. <laughs> Well, I'd have to list Gordie Howe as the toughest guy I ever saw fight on skates, but uh, that's been a while, too. Well, Gordie Howe was was a very, very, he, he was a hockey player. You know, I mean, he, he, I mean, he was tall, he was big. He wasn't, a, he wasn't a goon or anything. He could put the puck in it. He played any position that you wanted him to play. He was a smart hockey player, but you couldn't push him around either. You know what I mean? Yeah. You just, he, he had so many tricks in his, in his sleeves that you just couldn't do it. Gordie Howe was, there's, a, there's only one Gordie Howe, that's it. That's for sure. But uh, uh, you knew uh, Ted Lindsay. Now, there was one that kind of was on the crazy side, wasn't he? There's a tough guy. He didn't muck around with Ted Lindsay. When you go with Ted Lindsay in the corner or something, you have to protect yourself from the tip of your head to the tip of your toe. Because you, when you come out of there, you come out with scars with Ted Lindsay. Ted Lindsay was tough. His, his nose might even be in worse shape than yours. Oh, his, he, he's a mess. He was scarred up. Did you ever see him? He's scarred up. And uh, he wasn't born that way either. Oh, yeah, I, I knew. Uh, I covered the Red Wings back in the 60s. As a matter of fact, Lindsay was probably about 40 when he came back and played for a year uh, or most of a season. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was Detroit's favorite, boy. I tell you, when he when he got on that ice, uh, even when he when he played with the old timers and I played against them, I had to watch him. He came after. He said, "Watch me, as I know." <laughs> Didn't he invite you into a fight one night on the old timers game? No, he was just he was just monkeying around. Yeah, you know. Lindsay and I are very good friends. We just monkeying around. Yeah. But you didn't even monkey around in a fight with him, did you? No, 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 no. I went I went with Ferguson one time, and I found out how tough he was. You know, I used to like the challenge. <laughs> I've, I've heard that about you. <laughs> I appreciate you guys coming up here, and uh, probably Moose, since you're you're managing this game. Yeah, I'm gonna try. And I'm I'm his helper. Lyle Porter and I are gonna try to help yeah. keep Moose calm down That's tonight. Right. That's right. I guess keep keep man. Moose from going over the the uh, yeah. rail onto the ice. Yeah. I've seen him do that in a game. I did a few times. Yeah, I did it. Well, well it's well, one of those things. I'm calm now. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm calm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, fellas. Okay, Whitey. Thank, thank you. Thank you.